Reasons not to have sex according to Stoicism. Marcus Aurelius once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. With this powerful thought in mind, let's embark on a journey into one of life's most compelling and often misunderstood aspects, sex. But hold on. Before your mind races ahead, this isn't your typical discussion about enhancing your sexual experiences. Far from it. Today, we're venturing into the realm of Stoicism to uncover a perspective that's rarely discussed. The philosophical reasons for choosing not to engage in sexual activities. Take a moment, shift into a reflective state, and brace yourself for a dialogue that's not just about challenging societal norms, but about introspection and understanding the profound impact of our desires on our tranquility and mental fortitude. Are you ready to explore this unconventional path, one that might not only question your current views but also offer a deeper, more meaningful understanding of self-control and inner peace? Let's dive in. Self-control. We delve into a vital stoic principle that resonates deeply in our lives. Self. Control. In a world that often urges us to surrender to our impulses, to indulge in momentary pleasures, it's crucial to remember the profound impact of self-control, especially regarding sex. This intimate and pleasurable experience, while enriching, can significantly sway our rationality and self-discipline. The Stoics, revered for their emphasis on self-mastery, remind us that we are more than creatures of desire. We possess the unique ability to reason, to choose, and to govern our actions. Consider this. The true measure of one's strength isn't found in the pursuit of pleasure, but in the mastery of self-control. Envision the empowerment in making choices that align perfectly with your values and aspirations. That, my friends, is the epitome of true power. Choosing to abstain from sex, not as a condemnation of the act, but as a conscious exercise in self-discipline can be enlightening. It's a journey of self-discovery revealing the depths of our desires and the essence of our character. By mastering this primal urge, we sharpen our ability to conquer other distractions and impulses that may hinder our path to greatness. Intentionality is key. Engage in any act, including sex, with a clear understanding of your motives and their long-term implications. Exercising self-control places you firmly in the driver's seat of your life transforming you from a passive observer to an active architect of your destiny. Remember, when faced with a test of self-control, you possess the inner strength to make a choice. That decision, my friends, is a stepping stone to a more stoic, meaningful, and fulfilling existence. As the stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, no man is free who is not master of himself. Let this wisdom guide you as you navigate the choices that shape your life. The Reasons to Abstain from Sexual Relations In our journey to understand the Stoic perspective on why to refrain from sexual relations, we arrive at a crucial aspect often overlooked, the fortification of emotional bonds. Stoicism, a philosophy enriched by the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, emphasizes the significance of social responsibilities and empathy. These ancient thinkers remind us that we are inherently social creatures, and our relationships serve as mirrors, reflecting our virtues and flaws. Now you may ponder how does this connect with the Stoic view on abstaining from sexual activities. The answer lies in the understanding that by nurturing our emotional connections, we guard against the distortion of judgment by transient sexual desires, ensuring our interactions retain their quality and depth. Sex, while a delightful aspect of human experience, can overshadow the subtler, more profound aspects of human connections if it becomes the central focus. The Stoic approach encourages us to cultivate relationships that are genuinely meaningful. It's about learning the art of listening, sharing, being vulnerable, and offering without the expectation of receiving. This process creates a haven for emotional growth, benefiting not just ourselves but also those around us. Such growth fortifies our character, fostering balance and emotional resilience. Consider the words of Seneca, 
another revered Stoic philosopher, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This sentiment resonates deeply with the Stoic practice of strengthening emotional relationships. By focusing on the present connections, we liberate ourselves from the relentless pursuit of instant gratification and the inevitable disappointment that follows. Embrace this liberating path. Step off the treadmill of fleeting pleasures and ascend to a realm of deeper, more meaningful, and enduring connections. Begin this transformative journey by investing in your emotional relationships. Learn to love with greater depth, forgive with greater ease, and appreciate with greater fullness. In this investment, you'll discover the secret to a fulfilling life, abundant in rich emotional experiences, resonating with the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and its relevance in our modern lives. The Art of Energy Conservation In our fast-paced world where the demand to be perpetually active is high, it's no surprise that many of us experience burnout. And yes, engaging in sexual activities, like any human endeavor, requires energy. But the pivotal question here is, are we utilizing this energy to enhance our long-term well-being, or are we merely dissipating it in fleeting pleasures? Stoicism teaches us the importance of channeling our energies wisely, focusing them on endeavors that truly matter. It's essential to reflect on how we're expending our life's energy. Are we investing it in pursuits that nurture our personal growth, fortify our relationships, and contribute to our inner peace? Or are we squandering it on ephemeral gratification that ultimately leaves us feeling hollow and drained? Each sexual encounter has the potential to be a profound and connecting experience. However, it can also be an expenditure of energy that doesn't align with our core values and aspirations. At times, it's more prudent to reserve that energy for loftier pursuits, such as a significant life project demanding our undivided focus or a relationship that thrives on being nurtured with love and attention, rather than being diminished by transient desires. Choosing to conserve energy isn't a call for abstinence, but rather an invitation to be more mindful about how and with whom we share our vital essence. Remember, our energy is limited, and once depleted, it requires time and effort to replenish. You are the steward of your energy. Will you squander it, or will you judiciously invest it in crafting a life that echoes your truest self? As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. So, take the reins. Preserve your energy for what genuinely counts and remain steadfast on the path to a life imbued with meaning and purpose. The choice is yours. The Prevention of Unintended Consequences Stoicism, with its deep roots in virtue and wisdom, teaches us the value of prudence. This is not merely about cautious thought before action, but extends to a profound understanding of the potential future impacts of our choices. In the realm of sexual relations, this encompasses a wide array of considerations, from the avoidance of sexually transmitted infections to steering clear of complex emotional entanglements or unplanned pregnancies. The Stoic view does not demonize sex. Rather, it acknowledges its role as a profound expression of love and a crucial aspect of human connection. However, it also recognizes the potential for significant complications if not approached with thoughtful care and consideration. Adopting a Stoic mindset encourages a reflective approach, prompting you to assess whether your sexual decisions align with your core values and long-term well-being. Consider these questions. Does this act contribute positively to my life's journey? Will it bring me closer to the ideal version of myself I strive to be? Am I ready to face any resultant consequences? These inquiries are not mere philosophical musings, but practical tools for living a more intentional and conscious life. This approach is not just about self-protection. It's about cultivating a deeper sense of responsibility and awareness aligning more closely with the stoic pursuit of a virtuous and meaningful existence. To reinforce this perspective, let us recall the words of the stoic philosopher Seneca. We should every night call ourselves to an account. What infirmity have I mastered today? What passions opposed, what temptation resisted, what virtue acquired? 
This introspection is crucial in making decisions about our sexual conduct, ensuring they are in harmony with our philosophical and ethical standards. By focusing on preventing unwanted consequences, we not only safeguard ourselves and our partners, but also fortify our character. This strengthens our alignment with Stoic principles, enhancing our ability to live a life marked by wisdom, responsibility, and virtue, deeply connected to the modern world's challenges and complexities. The Pursuit of Mental Clarity In our fast-paced, distraction-filled world, it's easy to lose sight of this goal. Among the myriad distractions, sexual desires can be particularly potent. But let's pause and reflect. Stoicism emphasizes ataraxia, a state of serene tranquility and clear-mindedness free from emotional turmoil. It's in this state that we truly thrive, making decisions that resonate with our core values. However, when we let sexual impulses cloud our judgment, we risk making choices that may harm our emotional well-being and divert us from our long-term aspirations. Think of mental clarity as a serene lake. When a stone is thrown into it, the resulting ripples disturb its tranquility, creating chaos on the surface. Similarly, impulsive sexual decisions can disrupt our mental peace, leading to confusion, guilt, or regret. The Stoic approach isn't about abstaining from sex or pleasure but engaging in them with a conscious, clear mind. Ask yourself, is this the right person to be intimate with? Will this act enhance my life and that of my partner? Does it contribute to long-term happiness? Affirmative, conscious answers to these questions indicate a mindful approach. Remember, maintaining mental clarity is not just a philosophical ideal. It's an act of self-love and a tribute to our truest selves. It's a powerful tool in our quest for a fulfilling life. By preserving this clarity, we honor our most authentic essence, guiding us towards wiser, more meaningful choices. Let this be a lesson and an inspiration for us all to improve our lives, staying true to our path and respecting our innermost values. Detachment from Ephemeral Pleasures Embarking further on our Stoic journey, we delve deeper into the profound teachings of Stoicism, particularly focusing on the concept of detachment from ephemeral pleasures. In our modern world, we are incessantly bombarded with the notion that pleasure is inherently good, a goal to be relentlessly pursued, and that pain should be avoided at all costs. But pause for a moment and ponder, how enduring is this pleasure? Often, it's transient, evanescent vanishing as swiftly as it arrives, leaving behind a void, an insatiable longing for more. Stoicism offers a contrasting perspective. True serenity and joy stem from detachment. This philosophy teaches us not to anchor our emotional well-being to elements beyond our control, and this includes sexual pleasure. Embracing detachment from ephemeral pleasures doesn't imply renouncing life's joys. Rather, it's about not becoming enslaved by these pleasures, not letting them govern our actions or monopolize our thoughts. Visualize liberating yourself from the relentless pursuit of external gratification. Imagine the surplus of mental energy at your disposal, the clarity of focus you'd achieve and how your actions would more authentically align with your true goals and values. This is the essence of detachment. Through its practice, you can transform your life in unimaginable ways. You don't become devoid of emotions or desires. Instead, you evolve into someone who profoundly comprehends what truly matters. You transform into the master of your own being. In this self-mastery lies a deeper, more enduring satisfaction than any fleeting pleasure could offer. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. Are you prepared to embark on the path of detachment, to unshackle yourself from the chains of transient pleasures? The strength resides within you. The initial step is acknowledging your power of choice. So, make that choice. Choose judiciously. Choose control. Choose the liberation that detachment brings, connecting it to the realities of modern life and offering guidance for its application. Improve self-esteem. Self-esteem. 
My friends, is not a fleeting feeling on a sunny day, it's the enduring, resilient perception of our true selves. It's easy to bask in self appreciation when life sails smoothly, but the real test of self esteem emerges in adversity. Stoicism teaches us a vital lesson. Seeking solace in sex or fleeting pleasures is not the answer to bolstering self esteem. Sure, these moments offer a quick surge of satisfaction, a brief elevation in how we view ourselves, but what happens after? The moment fades, leaving us where we started or perhaps facing a deeper void. So, how do we enhance self esteem through a stoic lens? It starts with self awareness, deeply understanding our strengths and weaknesses. Rather than chasing external validation, we should cultivate our own standards of success and contentment. This involves embracing virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and self-discipline. Living by these tenets not only fosters self-respect but also earns the respect and value of others. Remember, enhancing self-esteem is a journey, not a destination. It's an ongoing process of self-exploration, reflection, and betterment. Embracing Stoicism, you realize that ephemeral pleasures are unnecessary for validating your existence or feeling good about yourself. So, when you're next tempted to use sex or any transient pleasure as a self-esteem booster, pause and breathe. Remember your worth isn't derived from fleeting experiences, but from the robust, virtuous character you're diligently sculpting each day. In conclusion, my dear listeners, as we navigate life's complexities, let's remind ourselves that our self-esteem should be anchored not in transient pleasures, but in the steadfast virtues we cultivate. This understanding not only enriches our lives, but also guides us towards a more meaningful and fulfilling existence. Avoid emotional dependency. In this critical eighth segment, we delve into a seldom broached yet vital topic, emotional dependence. Stoicism with its emphasis on autarky, teaches us the significance of being emotionally and mentally self-reliant in our quest for a fulfilling life. We must guard against becoming captives of our emotions or, worse, the emotions elicited by others. Herein lies the paradox of sex. It can be a beautiful, connective experience, yet it also poses the risk of becoming a crutch for validation, love, or attention. When sex transforms into our sole avenue for seeking love or validation, we fall into the trap of emotional dependency, straying from the stoic path of emotional liberty. Consider this. Why entrust your happiness to someone else? Why let your inner peace hinge on the fickle nature of another's attention or affection? This is a gamble, often leading to disappointment. The Stoic Solution Cultivate your inner garden. Recognize your inner insufficiency, your innate capacity to forge a happiness and meaning from within. In doing so, relationships enhance your already abundant life, rather than being a necessity for wholeness. Focus on fostering a robust relationship with yourself before seeking it in others. Assess your strengths, cherish your achievements, and address your shortcomings. Not for others, but for your personal growth and evolution. Remember, eschewing emotional dependence doesn't mean shunning human connections. It's about judiciously investing emotional energy and maintaining your inner peace, independent of others' actions or feelings. Let's recall the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. We are disturbed not by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens. This quote underscores the Stoic belief in the power of self-sufficiency and emotional resilience, reminding us that our peace of mind lies not in external factors but in how we perceive and react to them. In the context of modern life, this wisdom is a guiding light, offering a path to emotional autonomy and a reminder of the importance of self-reliance in our interpersonal relationships. Respect Personal Values and Principles as we reach the culmination of our enlightening journey through the Stoic perspective on choosing sexual abstinence, I want to share a crucial aspect with you, one that transcends this topic and touches the very essence of life, the profound respect for your personal values and principles. Stoicism, a beacon of wisdom from ancient times, teaches us the importance of living in harmony 
with nature. This harmony is deeply rooted in a steadfast adherence to a set of values and principles. Unlike the fleeting joys found in momentary pleasures, this treasure is cultivated through consistent, mindful decisions made every day. Picture yourself in a scenario where you're under pressure, maybe from your partner, peers, or societal norms, to act against your personal beliefs about sex. The Stoic sages would advise you to pause, reflect, and act in alignment with your principles, not swayed by others' expectations. Succumbing to external pressures means betraying not just the other person by withholding your true self, but also betraying your own integrity. Adhering to your values and principles acts like a suit of armor. It's not a barrier cutting you off from the world, but more like a sieve, filtering your interactions, making them more meaningful and genuine. Let your choices, including those about sex, be true reflections of your inner self and what you hold dear. This approach doesn't just enhance your well-being. It enriches and deepens any relationship you engage in, fostering a stronger, more genuine connection. Marcus Aurelius, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, Such as are your habitual thoughts, such will also be the character of your mind, for the soul is dyed by the thoughts. This quote resonates deeply with our topic. When faced with a decision, especially at a crossroads, remember to align your choices with your values. In doing so, you honor not only yourself, but also set a standard of integrity and authenticity that commands respect from those around you. The Significance of Long-Term Goals Picture the venerable Stoic sages, Seneca, Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius. Their lives weren't quests for instant satisfaction. They dedicated themselves to lifelong virtues like wisdom, justice, and courage. This dedication is the very soul of a long-term goal. When we're ensnared in the chase for quick pleasures, we lose sight of what's truly meaningful. But when we pivot our focus to long-term objectives, it's a game-changer. You break free from the relentless cycle of desire, temporary fulfillment, and renewed longing. You embark on a journey with purpose, a journey that shapes you into your finest self. Embracing long-term goals isn't about neglecting the present. It's about transforming your perspective. You shift from being driven by immediate desires to being guided by what's best for your future. This shift is transformative, influencing not just your achievements but also the person you evolve into. This stoic approach liberates you from the emotional tumult tied to seeking instant gratification. You discover a deeper sense of peace and fulfillment, knowing you're striving for something truly significant. It's a moment to reflect on your goals. Do they reflect a long-term vision for your life? If not, perhaps it's time for a change. Remember, long-term goals are your guiding light, your beacon in the distance. The path to them might not always be clear, but keeping your eyes fixed on these goals ensures you always have a direction to move towards. This is the essence of Stoic wisdom, a call to align your actions with a vision that transcends the immediate urging you towards a life of purpose and profound fulfillment. Cultivation of Inner Peace Embarking on our next exploration of Stoic wisdom, let's delve into the cultivation of inner peace. Stoicism, at its core, is about achieving a state of tranquility and equanimity, undisturbed by external circumstances or fleeting desires. This philosophy teaches us that true peace comes from within, not from external sources of pleasure including sexual experiences. Sex, while a natural and potentially beautiful part of human life, can often lead to emotional turmoil, especially when pursued without mindfulness or in conflict with one's deeper values. The Stoics advise us to seek contentment and peace within ourselves, rather than in external validation or physical pleasures. By abstaining from sex, especially when it's pursued as a means of escaping inner unrest or filling a void, we give ourselves the opportunity to cultivate a deeper sense of inner peace. This practice of inner peace involves reflecting on our desires, understanding their transient nature, and recognizing that true happiness and contentment cannot be found in momentary pleasures. It's about learning to be comfortable with oneself, finding joy in solitude and appreciating the tranquility that comes from self-sufficiency. When we achieve this state of inner peace, 
we become less dependent on external sources of happiness, including sexual gratification, and more attuned to the enduring joy that comes from a well-ordered mind and a life lived in harmony with nature. Preservation of Personal Energy for Higher Pursuits Our final point in the Stoic journey addresses the preservation of personal energy for higher pursuits. Stoicism teaches us the importance of focusing our energy and efforts on what truly matters in life. Personal growth, the pursuit of virtue and the betterment of society. Every action, including the pursuit of sexual pleasure, requires a certain expenditure of energy. The Stoics would urge us to consider whether this energy could be more effectively channeled into higher, more fulfilling pursuits. In the context of sexual abstinence, the idea is not to view sex as inherently negative, but to recognize that the energy and time devoted to pursuing sexual pleasures could be redirected towards more meaningful activities. These could include intellectual pursuits, artistic endeavors, community service, or deepening our understanding of Stoic philosophy. By conserving our energy, we have more to invest in activities that not only bring us personal satisfaction and growth, but also contribute to the greater good. This Stoic approach to energy conservation is about making conscious choices regarding where we direct our life force. It's about asking ourselves whether our actions are merely serving immediate desires or if they are contributing to our long-term goals and the development of our character. By choosing to preserve our energy for higher pursuits, we align our actions with our deepest values, leading to a more purposeful and fulfilling life. Incredible, true? We've embarked on a less conventional journey today delving into how Stoic philosophy shapes our choices in matters as intimate as sex. Remember, Stoicism isn't about self. Restriction, it's about liberation. Liberation from irrational desires, societal validation, and anything misaligned with our core values and principles. In our quest for pleasure or emotional connection, we often overlook critical self-reflections. Is this pursuit leading to lasting well-being or merely transient pleasure? Are my principles being compromised in this moment? Am I fully engaged in this experience? Or merely a bystander? You're not isolated in your quest for self-awareness and fulfillment. Each deliberate decision grounded in solid principles edges you closer to your ideal life. A life where happiness isn't ephemeral, but a consistent state of contentment and significance. As we progress, let's always bear in mind that we are the sculptors of our destinies. The blueprint is in our hands. It's time to draw boundaries that mirror our values, not conform to external expectations or norms. Thank you for joining this journey, for opening yourself to new insights. If this message has struck a chord, prompted reflection, or influenced even a small aspect of your life, I encourage you to subscribe and share this video with others who might find value in it. Until our next encounter, remember, live with intention, live stoically. And as the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, we are not disturbed by what happens to us, but by our thoughts about what happens. This perspective is vital in understanding our approach to physical desires and relationships, grounding them not in fleeting impulses, but in enduring wisdom